everybody it's good to be home youtube family oh i love you amsterdam new york argentina but there's no place like home that was a uh, unusual four to five weeks for me just so you know i've never done that in my entire life where i travel back to back to back like that so it's good to be home which means i can now put a little bit of time into strategizing as i talked yesterday about the houston in case you haven't heard my next race january 19th 2020 in houston texas the good old lone star state i'm going to be making my last attempt at a olympic trials qualifier 219 and below in the houston marathon oh it's just it's unbelievable but um this week i guess to give you a little layout of what's happening this week on the channel obviously i'm not running uh until later in the week i'm not racing of course and so the filming is going to be a little different maybe not quite as exciting as chasing down hayden hawks and jim walmsley in the mountains of argentina but we'll still still spice it up as much as i possibly can despite taking a down week in the running uh department but today because i'm back in the rocky mountains you better believe it i'm gonna zip up real quick to scout out some new training grounds that's right and that's going to connect to the question of the day here in a minute but um uh basically honing in and i might as well tell you right now as i'm sitting at a stoplight when mark wetmore my former coach at the university of colorado he's originally from new jersey um in the early 90s he moved from new jersey out here to colorado and ended up in boulder and basically how mark found places to run back in the day you pull out a physical map for all you uh, millennials i guess i'm a millennial all you gen xers out there that's right a paper map something not on your phone you pull it out and what mark would do is he would look for the basically the the windiest road on the map and he would go drive to that road and see if it was dirt and if it was dirt and it was windy and it was you know at least 15 to 20 miles long he would scout out and see okay can this dirt road be a training ground for um for my teams and so i've kind of adopted that a little bit in my uh training and figuring out where i should train uh so basically like i have from my house to boulder it's about an hour 20 uh sorry an hour 15 to boulder in traffic and then it's another 30 minutes up to the mountains therefore i'm going to go somewhere closer to my house that i can use dirt roads for training for the houston marathon anyway that's what i'm up to today driving out there and uh, let's rock and roll oh good to be home love you all but it's good to be home pulling off the highway at Pine Junction. For all the locals, you might know where this is at on Highway 285. And now I'm I'm going to pull over here in a second, make sure I still have cell service. This is, you know, this is the these are the mountains up here. It's just a slower pace of life, people enjoying living out in solitude and uh just a little country store on the side of the road. So now I'm uh, going to pull out my map on my phone, not a not a paper map and see if I can't track down these dirt roads. Let me just see. Here we go. I'll just pull over right here. I was hoping to run on that dirt road way down there and I just wasn't sure. This is why you come research and figure it out ahead of time. That was going to be my my location to start right there. Oh well, we'll keep looking. Darn. Well, Maybe I could make friends with the local uh, local ranchers and see if I couldn't uh use cuz I'm not doing hunting or fishing. I'm just running. Just running, right everybody?
All right, so we've made it to Foxton, Colorado, basically a ghost town up here. There's buildings, but they look, many of them look abandoned. There might be a few people still living up here, and it's just crazy. Uh, no dirt roads yet. This, this road I'm on now would have been perfect, but that's water under the bridge. It is paved, and question of the day, uh, in your training, do you seek out specific locations depending on what type of race you're getting ready for? And have you ever done this? Is this something that um, is of interest to you? Sorry, I'm just looking, looking here at another abandoned, uh, it looks like. So anyway, that's the question of the day. Like, do you seek out places to train that are specific for your given event? For example, there might be a track across, across town that is a mondo track versus a dirt track. Like I had a dirt track growing up where I, where I grew up in Buena Vista. Um, or maybe you're looking for a mountain that has a specific amount of vertical. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Wow, there's an old fireplace that is just sitting there. Okay, all right everyone, onward and upward, back to Denver. It doesn't look like this is gonna work out for training, but that is okay. This is why we look, this is why we research. Onward. All right, you know, you know how much I love running everybody, but I must say having an extra hour or two or three every single day this week to get organized, caught up on life, and yes, organized in the studio, it is nice. Oh, I'm just obviously a little behind here with respect to boxes and organization and the studio. I might ask a question of the day part two, seeking your input. So let's Let's hop in here and figure out what we can do to just spice it up a little bit. You're gonna have to look at this as much as I am. So uh, question, let's do it. Question of the day, part two. Uh, do you have any ideas for, for decorating in the studio um, and lighting in the studio? I've got some pretty good lights. There's one right here, one right there, one over there. Uh, but I've got some more ideas. And again, it probably is gonna take time, but because I'm not running this week, I think we can spice it up, make it look better. Maybe not quite as uh, kind of cluttered. I'll just put it that way. I'm looking at the boxes right now, which I'm actually gonna take off the wall and uh, just start fresh so that we're not, not feeling too overwhelmed in here. Um, oh my goodness, it's just amazing, it's amazing. Okay, everyone, we, we got the boxes off the walls, looking much better, crisp. Uh, I'm probably gonna throw some fresh paint up here. And keep in mind, we're looking at, we're looking at like five feet by eight feet. So there's not much room in here. But again, I'm gonna read all your ideas down in the comments. Just um, all the interior designers out there, all the creative people, it's time to shine down below. Okay, and even over here on this wall, I'll move the camera so you can see it. It's like, these are the shoes. I really like having these shoes there because I can just grab them sometimes when I'm talking here and I'm like, oh, there's an Adidas. Oh, there's a Mizuno and I just can talk. Oh, there's the Nike Pegasus 36, boom. So anyway, um, rocking and rolling. So we, uh, we actually have a surprise for you. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, let, let me go, let me go grab it. Actually, boys, come here. This arrived just a few hours late after we left for New York City. And so, bring it out. So a vlog fan brought this out, or made this for you. Go oh, out to Nana. Yeah, so a vlog fan made that. Yay, really? Yay. Yeah, Michael, what did Michael say? Michael, yay! <laughs> yay. Yeah. Can they hear me shouting or Here, right? So they were they wanted you to wear this. Oh, I am. They wanted you to wear this um out there at the marathon. Thank you, Russell. Thank you, Russell. Russell, 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 Russell. <laughs> Russell made it. No, nope, different Russell. Because <laughs> he watches the vlog. He watches the vlog, so everyone knows about you. You're the hero. One more thing, Mom. Could you turn around so we can see the back? Oh, what does it say there? Butter my bread, go Seth. So you all, you all know the story now. 
behind butter my bread. So there you go. There Good you job, go. Russell. Right, Good so job. Russell, um, you <laughs> must have told Russell that. Yes. Okay. There it is. All right. Ford versus Ferrari. Matt Damon, Christian Bale. Christian Bale, in my humble opinion, he nails it almost every time with his acting. Like he just really enters into that character so, so well. And if you like historical dramas, I would highly recommend going to see Ford versus Ferrari, or if you just like some good automobile racing. All right, everyone, wrapping up the vlog, calling it a day. Shout out again to Slovenia. I appreciate it. I hope you can find your roads out there. It's preferably dirt roads wherever you are around the world. And uh, that's that. I try to, there's probably, oh yeah, thank you for helping with the studio. I will be reading all the comments on today's vlog, uh, writing them down, and then just thinking, how can I make this happen sooner rather than later, just to spice it up a little bit outside. All right, there you go, everyone. We're gonna toss it back to, uh, we're gonna toss it back to actually so, uh, about six months ago when I really started to update the studio on the right, and then on the left, we'll throw it back to an old live stream in the studio, all right? So yes, live streaming will be returning sooner rather than later. Seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.